Johnny's Valentine's Day. Donnie's Valentine's Day. I've got some stuff over here from Michelle to open. Yay! Michelle knows I love Annalie dolls. I've got part of a gnome garden here. This card is super cute. If you pull up the top. <laughs> I have to get Donna. There's a really cute kitty pin. And Donnie got, Johnny got chocolates in this Minecraft. I think, no, Pokemon. Pokemon. Woohoo. Pokemon, dude. Way cool. Don's been out here making sure Ruby looks good for his girl. He uh, had the power washer on out here at uh, 6.15 in the morning. Yeah. yeah, I blast her off. She was pretty uh, yucky. yucky. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to see my friend Lisa at some point today. So she wanted to see Ruby for the first time. Got to have Ruby looking okay for her. Yeah, okay. nothing like a calm, easy-going morning at 648. I've got to get us out of here. The cat is loaded up back there. Johnny's book bag is safe over here. Here's Johnny. Hi, bud. And uh, it's past He's time doing a good roll. job here of recognizing the uh, motorcyclist in front of us. We're on uh, 7.39 a.m. arrival time now, which is late. Uh, I don't think we've had a morning where traffic's been this bad this far into town in a long time. Our arrival time's now 7.45 a.m. and I am just desperate to be out of this traffic now. But on a lighter note, maybe that's a symbol too. A sign. It's a sign, Johnny. And here's our problem. Road work. Figures, right mom? Yeah, I don't know exactly why they're doing this right now, whether it's uh, a pole that went down from an accident or just something they decided to do here in the middle of rush hour or what, but I know I am not pleased, not even remotely pleased. It looks like accident. There's glass on the road there. Well, that does make me feel just a smidge better. Both oh, I'm so glad to get out of that traffic. That was that was miserable. Love you, buddy. Have a good day. I'll uh, see you at robotics this afternoon. Okay, bye. Bye. It's 7:50, and I was supposed to be at the vet by eight. Let's see how long it's going to take to get to the vet. It should be right there. Okay, it is pretty close. It says 8 a.m. So, phew, even if it's 8.05, that's I'm fine. I'm here at Care First, and it's time to take Kitty inside. I sure hope tomorrow is a little less stressful than today and yesterday and maybe the day before. Um... I got the color sensors calibrated on one of my robots. It was more an issue of one side of Johnny's robot was up one Lego hole too high and then the other. And that caused the two sensors to read pretty far apart. So I fixed that, which was actually easy to fix once I realized what the problem was. It just was the getting to that point. And did the recalibration and got the calibration program where the kids can run it if they need it. And have a couple of other lego model builds ready to go for the team two teams that are struggling to come up with what they want to build so that's good i should be prepared for robotics i have all my lego stuff loaded up back there thanks to great help from dawn but on the way home i'm going to have the cat with me well i'm going to take the cat over to another foster mom um, so I'm going to have to be more creative about how I load it up, like in the front or in the middle row. That'll be okay. I think I can still fit it all. It's not a good day to transport the cat when I have all the robotic stuff in here, but that's all right. It's nice out there. It's in the 50s. It's sunny. It's not windy today. So that's really pleasant. I did get a short nap. And that's my alarm telling me it's time to go get Johnny, except for that's telling me I'm late to get down the road to robotics. I leave earlier on Thursdays. I heard the hawks as I was getting ready to uh, pull out of the driveway. And as I came past the entrance to the driveway, one of the hawks went over top of Ruby and had a twig in its mouth. So I think they're back nest building today. That would make me 
very happy even if I'm missing filming it. Hey buddy. Hey mom. You made uh, pretty good progress on your robot today. I think all you'll be doing next week is programming, working, working to get it programmed. I uh, made a little progress on the two teams that were behind. I found the I found the robot for them to build on and um, it went fast. It always goes fast. By the time we get it all broke out and everywhere scattered, then it's time to clean it up and put it away until next week. So I did find a place to quietly stow the sumo bot table. So that was a good thing. I didn't have to cart that back home. And uh, we are off to go pick up the cat and deliver her to her new foster home. The view coming in from uh, Capitol Boulevard on the north side of the city has got a lot of construction happening, both buildings and road infrastructure, but it's just not as pretty as coming in from the south side where uh, Raleigh looks like it's on a mountaintop almost. I don't like it over here. Hi, sweet patches. Hey, baby girl. You're going to your new foster place now. Valentine Hi. is home. Hey, Donnie. Mm -hmm. I love you. We got to stop meeting so late like this. Yeah, <laughs> God, it's kidding. dark out. <laughs> but I got drop patches dropped off. Patches? Yeah, well, the vet place this morning, they really wanted a name. They, like, oh, don't know what to do with a no name. I, I guess... And uh, it is a it is a girl again. If it's calico, it's female right. almost always. Sure. And um, anyway, I'm I'm home for a few minutes before I got to take Johnny to Taekwondo. I swear, Johnny and I were just in the car a few minutes ago. But it's time to go back out for Taekwondo. It's just hectic again. Mom, who was seeing sunglasses that night? I believe that was Corey Hart. I wear my sunglasses at night so I can, so I can. Don't remember the rest <laughs> of the song. <laughs> you know, really, honestly, the Tesla needs to be able to put the lyrics up on the center screen like karaoke. Elon, are you listening? 